Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you. Well, I threw that carburetor back on. I did do a video on it, but once again, this stupid camera. Anyway, I got the uh, carburetor on. I got to adjust it up a little bit because the um, the idle mixture screw is off. I gotta do the idle mixture screw on it, but other than that, it seems to be running good. I gotta do the, uh, what am I call it, the horn, directionals. High and low beam. And then, um, I gotta do the brakes. I think the sensor in the back, I don't know if it works. Hold on. That's the handbrake. Foot brake. Even that works, even though it's broken off the, um, the light fixture. So, needs to be worked in. I was hoping the sensor was gonna kick on the uh, cooling fan. But we know how sometimes that takes a while for that to happen. Oh, there it is. Cool fan's working. Temperature's right in the middle. RPMs. Good spot. Everything works on the spike. That's great. And stop. Nice. Yep, good. Perfect. That's what I want to see. I want to see the bike cycle. So I got to adjust the screw, the um, idle mixture screw on it. So at least, and I got to do, a, um, do another oil change to it. And then I'll start ordering parts for this bad boy. That's great, huh? It's exciting. So this is the KLR650. Needs an air filter, air filter box, needs covers, um, needs a little bit of work, but nothing dramatic, nothing we can't handle, needs a battery, I'm running off the Ford battery there, so if you shut this down, that's exciting, that's exciting, I fixed the uh, cover here, the bracket, put that on there, I'm using a KE100 um, oil tank reservoir with two stroke mix in it um, to run the engine. So that's what I'm using for a uh, fuel tank. And the pull choke right here, I put on there, works great. So, no problems with that either. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys another, um, what do you call it, first start. Okay, so this is my son's little um, four-wheeler here. His little Chinese 110cc quad. I gotta get a few parts for it. There's a, um, what do you call it there? show you there's a lever that goes right here for the brakes i need to get that lever and um what do you call it there and there's an emergency kill switch thing that goes in the back but other than that much on oh, oh, a seat the seat's pretty well torn up but um let's see if we can get this thing uh i want to make sure it's not leaking any fuel that was the problem with this bike originally was it, it was leaking fuel and i'm going to put you in the stand and we'll start her up okay so this is the one that I ordered the carburetor for. I took the old carburetor off. This is the old style carburetor. It's got a new style with a rounded bowl. And uh, came with the air filter. I haven't put any of that on yet. I just popped the carburetor on. It's only two bolts and a cable. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, and there's no real way to get in there to do a video on that. So let's uh, fire it up. I lost one of the screws to the starter. So go down.
and there we go a little smoky and I got to adjust the uh, carburetor on this one too I just haven't got that far yet so that's where I left off on that one um, he's gonna be super psyched so I'm gonna take you off the stand see if I can show it to you guys all right so this is one of those um, Chinese carburetors um, right there you see it right there uh, see, it's got the, the round style bowl. So, I paid 16 bucks for that with the air filter and the fuel filter, and it came with that little piece of hose. Um, what do you call it? There? I used my clips to cut off the fuel supply to it, and um, that was pretty much it. So, this right here was a bolt on and go. Um, didn't have any issues with it. So, thank God for that. I lost one of the um, little spacer things that go in there, so I have to get a, a bolt and a nut at the uh, hardware store. But other than that, it's not too bad at all. So he'll be able to ride this pretty soon. We're going to change out the tires on the back. I got to do a, um, what do you call it there? They're just, they don't hold air anymore. I don't know, these tube tires, these tubeless tires on these little Chinese things don't last very long at all. So you either tube them or you replace them. And I've got two tires for the back, bigger ones. And I'm going to, I'm going to swap them all out. See what I can do with it. See if I can lift this thing up a little bit, make it like a, a little bigger of a four-wheeler. I'll show you what I got. So my scrap guy rolling drops off a uh, Yamaha Moto 4. Um, no engine on it, but tires are in good shape. Uh, I think the rims in the in the front are bigger, but the rims in the back are the same size. You see how it's got these nice little knobbies? They're not all dry rotted. So this is a parts machine. I'm going to put these tires on the back, and then I'm going to put a couple bigger ties in the front for them and get that thing all up and going so this was a nice chassis I'm uh, I'm gonna keep it see if I can put an, uh, another Chinese rear end on it with it takes a chain I'll put a chain drive rear end on it and there's a perfect platform for a, uh, a Briggs motor put a nice little Briggs 5 horsepower on that and I'll be good to go so man I'm excited we got some stuff going on guys some stuff going on I cut my grass. This weather's been absolutely crazy. This grass, I'm going to tell you, has never looked this good. There's a couple little spots. I might just go over and get some grass seed this week and throw some down those little those little brown spots because, I mean, look at this. It's luscious. It's just filled in so great because of all this rain we've had. It's been absolutely crazy. So... This is an old sickle bar that we pulled the engine off of. So we're going to put that engine. We are going to repower. Oh yeah, I want to talk to you guys about this. We're going to repower this. Um, the fuel tank is very hard to find at the present moment. So we're going to keep this all together. We're going to um, pull this motor off. Put the 5.5 horsepower on it to use it. And we're going to put that engine in the shed. Because that engine right there is a good engine. And I'm going to put the uh, parts and pieces into it to finish this thing off properly. But since it's for my own personal use and it's not going to be sold, um, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and repower it with that 5.5 horsepower. So, uh, let's see here. So we got, we got a laundry list of parts to order. And i got to figure out what I'm going to do with this bike. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might bother it, keep it, sell it. I don't know. I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to do something with it. There's going to be another project attached to this one. Um, I really don't really uh, care for this bike too much because it's too tall for me. I'm too short. I would love to ride the hell out of this bike, but I'm just too short. So, you remember when you guys were a kid? And you go to a, um, you get on your 10 speed bike that has uh, 26, 28 inch wheels, and you're on the, uh, on one leg going, oh my god, I gotta stop. Yeah, that was me on this thing. So I'm too short for it. Unless I really just lower it, which I could lower it, but I don't know if I wanna go into all that. I'm thinking about it though, because if I do lower it, can ride it. And it's not difficult to lower, so um, I know we'll see how it goes. But I'm pretty excited about it. So, carb is on. 
cleaned. I cleaned. I didn't put it in the ultrasonic clean. I just I hit it with carburetor clean. I found the problems with it, and then went that route with it. And it runs good. I heard the um, coolant system um, cycle, so I'm good with all that. Um, it really needs plastics side covers. I got to clean the tank and a battery. But um, she, I don't think it'll start right up. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, I gotta put the. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. Listen to a chug. Choke. There you go. Just like that, guys. Just chugging. So, we're going to go ahead and um, finish this off. This is a nice bike. Needs a bath, needs plastics. And not too bad either on the plastics. They need uh, two two panels, two plastic panels, air filter, um, side cover. So I should be able to do something with this thing. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe um, if you guys have any questions or comments. Oh, um, I think I told you guys before on this thing. No, I don't remember if I did or not, but I'll repeat it. This um, engine right here is this. Uh, no, I did not say it. I did not mention it. Okay, so for those of you guys who have the Kawasaki Mojave, you're probably looking at this bike going, Oh my god, that's the same engine I got in my Mojave. It is. Just that this one doesn't have reverse. And if you look right here, it's got this plug. That's where your Kickstarter would go. You can literally take this cover off and put a Kickstarter on this motor. No problem. You can also take this carburetor... And this intake boot and put that on your Mojave and get a lot more power because this carburetor the intake is smaller on the Mojave and bigger on the uh, KLR 650 this 650 would bolt right into a KLR just so you guys know I mean I um, into a Mojave so you could take this KLR mode and put it right into a Mojave and bolt right down same exact engine um, however it doesn't have reverse and this carburetor is bigger. So if you put this, same style, all the brackets are the same, same throttle cables, same bracket. Um, this one has a pulsar pump on it. Um, let's see if I can show you. Like a vacuum operated pump right there on the side where your Mojave does not. Um, but other than that, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Same engine, same displacement. Um, if you look down under here, that's where your shock is right there, and it's got settings. Um, you can change the settings on that, somewhere on that shock, and that'll also drop it down. So, but I'm not going to get that hot and heavy into it. I'm just happy it runs, clean it up, give it a bath, and uh, send it. So, that's what we're going to do with this one. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have any questions or uh, any comments. By all means, please send them my way. Guys, you guys have been a great audience, and I really appreciate you guys' uh, comments and uh, help with projects. And um, the awesome stuff you guys have sent me. I appreciate that. I've gotten some uh, pretty cool stuff. And I just want to say thank you for that. It's the parts and pieces I need. And uh, a lot of you guys had stuff kicking around, and I, I just I appreciate that. It was, it was great doing business with you on that aspect. So I appreciate that. Um, whew, what a hot one. So, anyway, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.